we're gonna do a quick little feeding video for Mr. Bobby, the blue tongue skink. Carter, go ahead and tell him what we're going to feed. So we have never bought one of these or given him one of these. It's called a hornworm. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like. It's tur oh God. It's turquoise with a red horn at the head, I think, but I don't know. These hornworms are sometimes called tomato hornworms or tobacco hornworms and wild caught ones are not safe for reptiles to eat. Only the hornworms that are bred specifically to be eaten have this amazing turquoise color and it is their diet that gives them that color. So weird looking, yeah. but super cool. Yeah, so yeah, we were trying to put it on the plate but it just stuck to his finger. <laughs> So yeah. it's not something that they need to have every meal, yeah. but we've seen lots of other blue tongue skinks get offered these as a treat, yeah. and we wanted to see if Bobby would enjoy a nice horned worm. Yeah. So here we go. Bobby seemed quite unsure as to what to do with this horned worm. He just looked at it, would flick his tongue in and out, and just kind of check things out for a little over 10 minutes before we finally got him to show some real interest. Maybe he's never seen one before. Yeah, I think so. After repositioning the plate and a little closer contact with the hornworm, he decided it was worth a further investigation. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's shaking it. <laughs> he's just rubbing it in the dark. Bobby moved all over his enclosure from pushing the hornworm up against the glass or the water bowl or one of his hides to just shaking it quickly across the substrate. The whole process that we were able to see was well over 10 minutes. Um, the whole video I think took about 30 minutes to film. It was quite the process. I don't know about you, but I did not expect it to take this long or be this interesting. Yeah. I thought he was just gonna, like, swallow it, not shake it to death. <laughs> I've seen other blue tongue skinks shake like this, but not for this length of time. Yeah. And have you noticed the saliva? No. Yeah, he's getting saliva. So I guess that's a good sign. I mean, most animals salivate when they're getting ready to eat. Yes. 
sorry, those corner ones look so cool. And they are really pretty. Yeah, they're like the turquoise with the white and the black and the red horn. And so Bobby got out for some good exercise yesterday. He's got a apparently very fun treat today. Yeah. Put him on a head and tail like twenty times. And he's still not good enough to eat. I guess he's really gonna like shake it until he kills it, just in case so it doesn't like suction cup to his throat or to his tongue or something? Oh yeah, because like, if it suction cups to his throat, then that could choke him and he would die. Yeah. Same with the octopus. Oh. Yep. I feel like that's a way better place to shake it because <laughs> there's not a lot of room for this. goes in the darkness. Alright. Well. That was interesting. We didn't actually get to see Bobby eat the hornworm, but that was pretty interesting. Yeah, he just shakes it so much. And while the hornworm was in the container while we were bringing it home. Mm -hmm. But what did he do in there? It pooped. That, that's a pretty good size poop for a little hornworm. Yeah. Yep. Huh. Well, I think Bobby thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, I think every once in a while, maybe once a month or something like that, we will go and grab him one of those. They are $2 a piece at our local reptile store. So it'll be a fun little treat, some extra little enrichment and activity for Bobo. Mm -hmm. We can just throw it in his enclosure and everything and he can kind of hunt it down. Yeah. yeah, but it might dig and he can't find it. That's true too. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that um, feeding video, the beating that we just saw. Yeah. Um, he didn't get eaten, but oh, he's in there shaking it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for learning with us. And we'll catch you on the next one.